Well, here we are at uh, Saltwick, and we've just come through a snowstorm. Looks absolutely lovely. And yeah, it's not the best, but here we are. Park somewhere over here. Round about here, I think we'll park. Yeah, I don't think I'll be uh, getting out for a while because it's one degree, absolutely freezing. But uh, we're going to try and get some fossils. <laughs> Must be mad. Well hi everybody, we're uh, actually out, back out fossil collecting again, uh, my foot hasn't been very good, and uh, I've been Look at that, how beautiful is that? That's why I love coming to the coast. It's absolutely gorgeous. We've got a load of oyster catchers down there too. Yeah, we've just got to the boat now and this is a interesting information there. You know how it's about uh, leaving the uh, seals alone, especially if they're uh, pups go near them because they can damage themselves when they're trying to escape so you must go around them I always do anyway especially when I go to uh, Ravenscar so we're just making our way down onto the beach now certainly couldn't have done this a few weeks ago with my foot couldn't put my foot down but uh, Tide's still going out, and you see, it's very rough seas. So hopefully, there's been some uh, some fossils revealed. Hopefully. Right. So just looking in the uh, in between these rocks, and uh, I think. We've come across, if I can get my foot in right. Can I get my foot in right? <laughs> I think we've got. Let's have a look. Is he? Oh, yes, there we go. Look, there's the keel running around the side. It's the first, oh, it might be a bit damaged there, but it's the first ammonite of the day. Nice deck. And I think there might be another one if I can just put this down somewhere. There might be another one. No, it's not anything. Right, I think we found our second deck of the day can anybody see where he is I can see where he is he's just in here look there we go you can see the keel 
second dactylioceros of the day here look nice preps nice one another one what is it if there's anything in there can't see anything in there but you never know in these little uh, nooks and crannies it's always best to have a look see if you can see anything yeah we're just looking in the uh, shale now and that would have been a nice big bell of night wouldn't it it's quite large these were squid like creatures but it's just missing the tip there if it had the tip it'd be yeah it'd be quite nice and i would think of taking it but i can't see the tip anywhere in this lot now oh, there's a nice nodule there might be something in there we'll have to give it a tap with the hammer yeah this is quite interesting i'm pretty sure that that is a coprolite fossilized feces from maybe an ichthyosaur i'm pretty sure that's what it is pretty cool but it's in a big block and uh, it's quite heavy to take so I'm going to leave that right we've just been looking around this small rock fall and this must be fresh because we've got I think it's an Elegantisrus in there that's uh, smashed when it's come down from the cliff but we found the other section in this big bit here there it is there look there's the other bit so I'm going to glue that back together and then we should have a, a nice Elegantisrus ammonite which is quite nice so I'll bubble wrap this and take it back home and uh, do a bit of prepping on it There's the nab just there. Yeah, just in this uh, vicinity, there is quite a few fossils. And um, we've just spotted another one. Whether it's all there or not, I don't know. But we're gonna have a look. I think it's another Dak. He's just in there. Yep these all in there there's the keel running round in a nice little nodule another nice ammonite so there's quite a few in this area so we'll stay and we'll, we'll have a look see if we can see anything else hopefully we can Let's have a look. Right. Just got to go careful with my foot because it still aches. I think there's a lot of uh, little shells in there, I think. Oh, it looks like we've got a big storm coming our way. It's not very good, is it? I'm going to get absolutely soaked still if it's really bad I'll uh, I'll go home the tides just going out now and we're just making it to the uh, the nab 
just got to go a bit careful around here. But we found a few ammonites anyway, which is nice. Sure, what this is, but we'll have a look. No, it's nothing. No, that's nothing. I thought it might have looked like a bit of bone, but it wasn't. See if we can see anything on here. Because you never know. Oh, it's a, it is absolutely freezing. Mind you, I've got my thermal suit on. As you can hear, the wind is uh, quite bad. Right, I've seen something quite interesting. It's just down here. Oh, my knees. Right, can you see it? It's a bit crushed. It is all there. Another ammonite for the bag. Right, we're just coming up on the uh, nab now. Still a bit of hailstone. Just got to go careful on this seaweed. And then we'll make it round the corner. Here we are, we've uh, made it to the shipwreck now. Fog station's just up there. So. Nice. Yeah, this is the old shipwreck. Just in front of me here. Nice to see. Slowly wearing out. I'll go this way, I think. Get down on here. There we go. Just have a quick look, just to see if you can see anything that's been washed in here. Because you never know. There might be something. Every time I've looked I haven't found anything, but you never know, do you? Can't see anything. Oh, I can see a bell of night that's been washed in there. Now, right, let's make our way to the cliffs over here. Let's see if there's been any slips. And let's see if we can find some more ammonites. <laughs> 